Hey guys, it's Vance Logic. Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Asperia. In the last part, we went through the Manor of the Wicked, started looking for a few items, and I announced that I can hopefully, most likely, cut up battles again. And we saw the Don, and he made his way back to Dongrist, where he decided to take his life with Yuri helping him. So now we're going to be looking for Carol, who's devastated by it. Now my hands have killed someone I never wanted to kill. Don, that feeling still hasn't left my hands. You really were a piece of work, old man. Damn right he was. He was fucking, basically, this world's white beard. I don't know. Nah, white beard has way more power than his ass. So for now, we just gotta look for Carol. And this time I have my stopwatch with me, so I can actually know how long the video's gonna be if I actually manage to cut out some stuff. And there's Carol, so let's see how depressed he is. Yuri, I... There wasn't anything I could do. The Dawn and all the rest of you, you'd all made up your minds and did what you could. Nobody in this town's gonna listen to anything I've got to say. So I was thinking I should try talking with Paula Strale instead. But they might be done talking, and just attack anyway. When I thought that, I... I was too scared to go alone. So I ended up not going at all. I'm not good for anything. What about Judy? Weren't you gonna look for her? I can't. I can't go with you anymore, Yuri. I'm just not cut out to be the boss of a guild. Talk some sense into him, dim man. Is that it then? Is that all guilds and brave Vesperia mean to you? Just walking away from the dream like that. But I wanted to be the best guild! To be useful to the Dawn! For him to notice me! He's been a role model for me, and now he's not around. So you're just gonna pack it up and quit? Just what was it the Dawn died for? You of all people should know the answer to that. You can always do everything you want, Yuri! You'd never understand how I feel! God damn it, that line, Carol! I'm not tough like you! That line, too! There's no way I can be like you in the dawn! It's over! Our guild is... Carol! Don't you remember all the dawn told you? Did you forget his resolve? <sighs> As a member of our guild, I'm going to Mount Timza to find Judy. Huh? Brave Vesperia will go on. Even if you don't, this guild is more than just you now. Ha! Anyway. I mean, yes, I, I do know want he's... To run away. I don't want to, but... <laughs> he got the trouble one title. Anyway, I do know he's grieving for the dawn and all that. But still, come on, man. There, you got responsibilities now. If you wanted to be the leader of a guild, or if you are the leader of a guild... You wouldn't have to worry about this shit anymore. Just move on. As tough as it is. Carol, do you think he'll be all right? He'll be fine. What? Well, now, if it isn't the darling boy and girl. How very nice to see you both. Jaeger. German man. You've got some nerve showing your face after planting the seeds of war. Seeds of war? I'm quite sure I don't know what you're talking about. Attacking Palastrale is a matter for the Union to decide. Yep, that's right. We just helped inform their decision. <laughs> exactly. Understand, my little friends? I'll give you something to smile about. <laughs> that's enough for today, I think. It is the day of the dawn's passing, after all. It was still in mourning, you'll see. The world lost a great man today. It most certainly did. What is it you guys are after? Get the dawn out of the way to take control of the Union? Oh, no, 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 no. Our little business will most surely be easier without support Dawn around, but... Ah, uh, let's not go there. I've come today for my own personal reasons. I don't want to disgrace the Dawn by doing something I'll regret later. You should leave before I change my mind. It is not only you who are mourning this death, you know. Be seeing you then. So he has heart, I guess. Even Jaeger is mourning the Dawn. I don't understand. Hadn't he been trying to get rid of Don Whitehorse himself? The old man was a nuisance to Leviathan's Claw, but maybe things were a little different for Jaeger on a personal level. You mean like the difference between guilds and individuals? Yeah. To the Don, there was Jaeger the boss and Jaeger the person. 
The Don did break his own laws and take the fight into his own hands. Well, we should be on our way. Uh, all right. I told Rita we would be meeting her at the town exit. But what about Carol? I said he'll be fine. Let's go. And you would think they would automatically walk you to that bridge, but nah. I think you have to walk there yourself. So you just waste more time controlling the characters and then and where's Rita? There she is. Where's Carol? What is the deal with everyone worrying so much? What are both of your plans after this? I'm going with you, of course. Like I said, I've decided to stick with you guys while I research the air credit. Right, right. I want to go with you as well, Yuri. Now that we know the hunting blades are out to get Judith, we've got to try and help her. We're not obligated to do anything for her. Judith shared in our travels. She's one of us. She also destroyed the Ceres Blastia on the ship. But... I'm not going out on any mercy mission. I told you I need to set things straight, right? Yuri... What does Judy know? What doesn't she know? And will she bang you? I'm gonna see that she comes clean about all of it. I have to. To find out where this guild stands. Well, we might just end up saving her along the way. You two are worried about her, I knew it! <laughs> what are you talking about? We might, is all I said. Anyway, with all this talk about setting the guild straight, is the fearless leader himself gonna come? <laughs> It'll take more than this to keep him down. He'll come. Now let's go. What should we do about Raven? He couldn't come now. He can't turn his back on this town. They lost the Dawn. You're probably right. The old man has his own agenda to take care of. I'm gonna miss him. No, you're not. I think who you're talking about. That guy might just pop up when you least expect it. So where is this Mount Temza anyway? My guess is that it's somewhere north of the sands of Kogor. She mentioned something about living with Baul on a mountain to the north of a desert. There certainly are plenty of mountains in the northern regions of Desier. Well, let's start there and see where it takes us. First off, we need to make our way to Desier. Let's get to the ship. Yeah! Now we have another party coming up right now. Yep. There he is. You done grieving, man? Carol! Wait! I'm going with you. I might not fully understand the things that Dawn wanted to tell me yet, but Brave Vesperia is my no our guild. So so I've gotta come with you guys. Carol? I think if I ran away, if I abandoned my friends, that'd be the end. I couldn't come back. That's why... that's why I've gotta go. Please let me come too! Of course. <laughs> You're the boss of this outfit, Captain. Yuri, thanks! But don't call me boss anymore. Hmm? I... I haven't done anything to earn that title yet. Until you really think I'm a boss. Until I don't feel embarrassed when someone calls me boss, I'll just do my part as a fellow member of Brave Vesperia. Understood, Carol. Not a bad plan. All right! Damn right. It never ends with these guilds. Bunch of hot-headed idiots. Whoa, where'd he come from? Yeah. Quite juvenile, isn't it? Ah! Hey, old man! Ah, how glorious is youth! What are you up to? Huh? Something wrong with my being here? Well, don't you have your hands full with the Dawn's passing and everything? You know, it all just seemed a little too bothersome, so I ducked out. But you owe a lot to the Dawn. Aren't you sad? Sad? I cried and cried till my throat was hoarse and there wasn't a tear left in me. Funny, it doesn't show on you at all. <laughs> So not even Raven the Great can bear to ignore the Don's parting words. What are you talking about? You heard me, didn't you? That burden's too heavy for this beast. I'm sure they'll be able to take care of that piece of business just fine without me. All right, we'll leave it at that. Oh, man, these kids today, I tell you. So now we can depart for Desier, right? 
Huh? Why are we going back there? That's a pretty good hunch you have there. Mount Thames is north of the Sands of Kagor. There's a Critian city there, if memory serves. And why would you know something like that? Well, I'm over twice your age, so of course I know twice as many things. Right. <laughs> so are we going, or aren't we? Can we get to the north of Kagor by boat? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. And now everyone's back in the party, including Carol and Raven. I think I might keep the party the way it is right now with... Yep, Rapide's in the party. Alright, that's cool. Anyway, now to make our way all the way back to... Uh, around where Nord Pollock was at. If, I remember getting lost on my way there. I'm like, where the hell do you go? So for now, I'm just going to be looking around. All this crap in clouds in the air that are making shadows on the water. We should be nearing it. Hmm... No, oh, there's no, there's no Apollica, and there's the Atherum. So yeah, I'm not getting this out right now because I just gotta make sure I can get here properly. I think all I'd have to do is make our way through this part. Mm, it's hot as shit. I think I might actually be hunting around inside the... I might actually hunt around in the Sands of Gore while I'm here because I want to be... I want to try getting the Vorpal Sword while I'm here. Oh yes, yes, very nice. Here we go. So yeah, I'm gonna cut that out for now. Oh wait, 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 there's a new enemy here. Two new enemies. Might as well get them all in here. We'll destroy them in no Dang, time. three new enemies. Sand Thief, Druid, and Swordbeak. Let's get these guys. First the Swordbeak. There we go. Oh my god, I got hit. <laughs> oh god, yep, I'm taking these Swordbeaks the fuck out first. Hey, 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 no, wait. I'm going for those bitches. The druids. Hey, 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 hey. Yep, I'm getting my ass handed to me already. And it's going so damn slow right now because of all the fighting. And man, do I love Light Nightingale. And before I forget... Oh, wait, wait, crap. I did not mean to use the Mother's Memento. At least not yet, anyway. There, Sand Thief. Haha, <laughs> that one dude died. Okay, yeah, now I'm going for the Sword Beast. Stop trying to douche. Holy shit. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Woo! And I used a freaking pineapple gel or whatever. Please die. Hey! There. Now that we got those enemies out of the way, I'm going to be hunting around inside the Sands of Kagor, so that way I can synthesize the Vorpala Sword, so, yeah. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, I'm back, and I don't think I could go into the Sands of Kagor at night time right now, because, I don't know, it doesn't have the option, it doesn't have that whole thing with the, like, the canteen, and I just kept fighting there for like five minutes, and it didn't change from day to night. I think that was because of the Outbreaker that it kept changing from day to night, but, anyway, Let's just continue onward. Screw the Vorpal Sword for now, let's just go into Mount Temza. And here we are! Welcome to Mount Temza! <gasps> These are human footprints, right? There sure are a lot of them. Could it be the Hunting Blades? That, or it might be the Knights. But why would the Knights be here? Well, Flynn was looking for Apathea too. If that's what the Hunting Blades are doing here, then the Knights could be here for the same reason. Why is everyone scrambling to get their hands on Epithea all of a sudden? We never had the chance to get an explanation from the Dawn. Yeah, because he didn't want to. If Judy will clue us in on what she knows, things might clear up. Hey! You guys, come look at this! This is crazy! Like Crazy Taxi? I really gotta stop making references. But anyway, here's Mount Temza, the next dungeon area. And the one thing I hate about it, you guys shall see soon. What the heck is this? The mountain's been... flattened. What could have happened? Is there really supposed to be a town here? Well, it was here ten years ago, that I'm sure of. But I can't vouch for what's happened since then. Ten years? That's quite a ways back. What were you doing way out here? Uh, well... <sighs> that voice! Is that you, freak? Yeah, like she can hear you, Rita. Here's hoping everything's alright. Let's hurry. 
Yep, here's Mount Temza, so, and there's quite a few things hidden around here. Like right here's a tent, not really hidden, but you know what I mean. Quite a few things laying around, I mean. And check this out. Please, please, please be voiced. Ah, damn it! It's even worse from up close. There's no way this could have happened naturally. Looks like something exploded here. Explosion. Are there monsters that can do something like this? There were, but those monsters were all wiped out. What do you mean wiped out? Well, you see here, this was a battleground in the Great War. What? Really? So that means humans and Antelokea fought here. The humans were victorious, but there were scarcely any survivors. The facts behind the war are shrouded in darkness. Not even the official government history histories give many details about what happened. So the Antelokea did this to the mountains. What terrible power. But this is the first time I've heard of that a battle took place here. The Empire's kept a pretty tight hold on information about it. They've got a lot of secrets. You should know that by now. I thought it was strange that monsters would wage war against humans, but... What they didn't want us to know is that those monsters were actually into Lakea. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Rave. <laughs> Why do I keep talking like that? Came, you come across a lot if you live long enough, kitties. Okay, enough, enough history lessons. We came here so we could look for Judy. Monster's voice wasn't heard just now. What if they have already got Judith cornered? Beating up that dragon freak is my job. I won't let them beat me to it. Yeah. Let's hurry. But before that, let's make our way through here. And there's a skit. Man, the Great War. I mean, leaving a gaping hole where a mountain used to be. I still can't believe how much power the Antilochia must have had. How could the humans fight beings that powerful and not get demolished? I just don't get it. Indeed, the Great War may still hold secrets we haven't uncovered yet. Yeah, but the war's over now. It can't have anything to do with us, right? I hope so, but... <laughs> You're trying to plant the seeds of doubt. Anyway, you see these enemies right here? I've already actually fought them off screen, so I actually got their info, but I am going to show you guys right now. We just got some red sage. So let's get some in enemy info. You'll be gone soon enough. Anyway, these are axe eagles. They really gotta stop with those eagles. Anyway, and here's a dead wreath. And it's weak to fire, so I know what attack to use on that. Hey, 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 hey. Hang on. <laughs> oh man, I love doing that. Could have been faster if I used a higher over limit though. Anyway, this is a heavy bottom. They're just, I think, like, yeah. Ooh, right before I got killed too. Anyway, let's just get these axe signals out of the way. Hey. Come on, axe signals. So yeah, just like I've said before, now that I can actually cut. All I am going to be showing is en fights with new enemies, so yeah. Just getting started. We just got those enemies, and Repeat got Combo Force. Check this chest over here, and we got a Saffron. I just thought back to Pokemon, sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, now let's make our way to the rest of Mount Temza. And hopefully this is an enemy that has a new enemy in it. Hey! Repeat! Your tail? <laughs> anyway, there weren't any new enemies, as you guys saw by the cut I just did. And I think I forgot to stock up on stuff. I probably should do that. Yeah, I probably will do that, and hopefully I can. I'm going to check right now before continuing onward. If I can't, then fuck. I'm going to have to continue onward. Please let me go out. Don't tell me anything. No, we got to check on Judith. Please don't... Oh, good. Woo! Good. I continue onward. I'm actually going to try making my way back to that one Yormgen town. Hopefully that can actually sell me some items. And then I'll cut back here, so I'm going to end it at this part for now. Next time on Tales of Vesperia, we're going to be continuing on through the rest of Mount Temza, so see you guys then.